Hey, it's Stefan from RC Point Flyer 100. And today, I'm going to share with you a mod I did with my T28. Now, what happened was I crashed the T28. Uh, not that badly. It was pretty, pretty easy crash. Nothing happened except for I bent the nose wheel. But as I was doing that, fixing up the nose wheel, I decided I'd make a bomb drop mod with it. And how I did that was, I took an HS55 servo, it's one of the feather servos, or those little blue things, and I cut a hole right here, I'll show you, covered in silicone glue, cut a hole, and I put silicone glue in it, and this is in the wing part, and then I cut out a little block right here, and put one hinge in it, and then let that glue harden. Put a horn on there, the rod, and now it's able to open and close. And I'll demonstrate that for you. It the whole entire thing took about oh an hour, I think, just for everything to be said and done. And that's including having to go to the hobby shop, which is about 20 minutes away. So. The whole thing only took about 40 minutes, and that's when you have to wait for the glue to dry and everything. Uh, I wrecked the canopy, too, so I had to wait for another canopy, so I can't really test the center of gravity. But I did also, I also bought some Great Plains makes these lead weights, and they have a sticky side. And I also, brought, also bought the Great Plains uh, center of gravity machine. So I'll be able to uh, measure the center of gravity. But I think it's going to be a little too tail heavy because of this, but that's okay. I have some lead weights to uh, counteract that tail heavy. Uh, so I'm going to plug in the battery. Transmitter's on. Yeah, and I had the prop off just so I don't accidentally bump the throttle and cut my hand off. So, there we go. Yeah, so what I did was I plugged it into the gear switch and used the Mix 1 program on my DX6i and I adjusted the throw to my to what I thought would be appropriate for this. So here we go, I flipped the gear switch and it opens. It's a pretty sloppy job, but when you're 250 feet up in the air, I don't really think you can see it. But yeah, there it is, very simple. Pretty proud of myself that I did that, but... It's, it's really cool. Yeah, just coming along, put some like flower or uh, like crowns or marbles or something like that in it and drop it. Well, here's a crown right here. Let's split the crown. Open it up. Put it in there. Flying around. Oh no, it's stuck. Make it a little shorter. I think it was a little too big. Alright, so now I have it closed. We're flying along. I'm going to do a loop and. Yeah, it would, it would fall out because of the uh, force, but I'm pretty. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Plugs it into the gear switch and it works really well. I uh, just ordered a canopy. They're cheap. They're like they're seven ninety eight or something like that on Horizon Hobbies website. But yeah, there's also one more thing I want to show you. I just from my guy at the field got an OS forty six AX uh, nitro engine, and I'm thinking of putting this in a Great Plains Cherokee or a Great Plains P fifty one Mustang. You tell me what you think, what plane I should put it into. I'm really leaning towards the Mustang, but the Cherokee looks nice too. Tell me what you think in the comments, what, which plane I th you think I should get for this engine. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, this plane's really good, I like it a lot. I had one crash with it, 
Uh, one upgrade I did have to do was the 2.5 inch wheels because I fly at a grass field. And I also just put these electrical tape stripes on it just to make it look kind of cool. Um, so that's it. So thanks for watching and rate, comment, subscribe.